Why do birds sing loudly in the morning? Firstly, male birds often sing in the morning to impress potential mates. Hmm. Secondly, there is less noise in the morning. This allows the birds' songs to travel further, thus making communication more effective. Hmm. Thirdly, as the light is too dim in the early mornings, singing seems like a productive way for birds to spend their time. Hmm. Lastly, after resting through the night, birds have replenished their energy reserves. Singing in the morning lets them use this energy burst. Hmm. Huh? Why exactly do bees buzz? Firstly, Bees use vibrations to shake pollen off flowers and onto their bodies. This process is called buzz pollination and is used by bumblebees and other bees to gather pollen for their colonies. Secondly, bees produce different vibrations to communicate with each other. Thirdly, bees produce high-pitched buzzes as a warning or defensive signal. Lastly, bees produce thermogenic buzzes to generate heat. Why are helicopters so noisy? When the main rotor of a helicopter starts rotating, the blades start spinning. Due to this spinning, air pressure above the blades starts dropping, while air pressure below the blades starts increasing. Now, air from high pressure area starts moving to low pressure area. This produces a lift which causes the helicopter to rise. At the same time, a vortex is generated by the tip of a rotor blade. When this vortex hits the next advancing blade, the blade vibrates. The vibrations of the blade generate a loud sound. Hmm. Huh? Why isn't the Leaning Tower of Pisa falling down? Firstly, the Leaning Tower of Pisa doesn't fall because a line drawn from the tower's center of gravity to the ground passes through its base. Hmm. Secondly, the relationship between the tower's height and rigidity and the softness of the soil keeps the tower from falling. Hmm. Lastly, the long construction delays allowed the ground to become compact and the structure to settle, thus making the tower's foundation stronger over time. Hmm. Why are there so many pigeons? Pigeons as we know today are said to have descended from a wild creature known as the rock dove. It is believed that about 10,000 years ago, people began domesticating as well as breeding rock doves primarily for food. Over time, people realized that pigeons had excellent navigational skills. Pigeons started being used to guide lost ships towards land, as well as to carry messages over long distances. Eventually, instead of looking at pigeons as a food source, people started breeding them as a hobby. Hmm. How are butterflies so colorful? Firstly, butterflies get their color from chemical pigments such as melanin, which absorb certain wavelengths of light while reflecting others. Secondly, butterflies' wings are made up of thousands of transparent microscopic scales. Also, each scale has multiple layers separated by air. Hence, when light passes through these scales, it is reflected multiple times. These reflections compound one another and intensify the colors. Hmm.